I just really <laughs> feel a connection to her. And she would be happy with me. <laughs> What is up, Wikimaniacs? It's your boy, Sean, coming at you with another Reddit readings episode. Uh, as you could tell, we've replaced uh, one unmelanated person with yet another <laughs> unknown. <laughs> For your, your pasty viewing pleasure. Oh, we always have a- to make it an Oreo, guys. You can't be all Filipino in here. No one will take I us am, seriously, right? I am- I am the cream filling between. That is you correct. Are. We're we're a between mocha your, Oreo right now. You are. You, we're brown and we're even wearing brown together. Yeah. It's yeah, AAPI it's, month, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. It is. We didn't plan this, by the no, way. No, it's just we're vibing. You know what I mean? That, we uh, are. Yeah. When you host a show for so long with somebody else, I bet you're you, basically uh, married. Yeah, we should call. We should call Josh and see if he's also wearing brown. Coincidentally, he's definitely wearing <laughs> navy blue and white. Oh yeah, right that's now. true. The leaves. The leaves are playing. Yep. They are. But if you couldn't tell by uh, the lovely voice of our special guest <laughs> co-host, we have our friend Linz from Ye Old Crime taking over Josh's spot today. Hi. Hello. Hi, friends. Yes. You guys know Linz. Yes. It's, it's been, been a while, a while, but this is number three, four? Definitely more than that. I more than four? It, four or five. I think it's four, four or five. five. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. But you guys, welcome Linz. We're excited Thank to have you. you here today. Let's uh, hope we get some good stuff in. You know what I'm saying? So I chose these stories when it was still Josh, but I mean, I don't think Josh really affected any of these stories. So <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I don't I can know why play, I said that I at can, all. I can play the token white person and be like, I'm offended or whatever it is that Josh says. No. Nah. What's that all about? The only thing that uh, he said is- you're, I mean, you're basically Canadian, Lindsay. You're from I Minnesota. Am, I'm, I'm basically Canada's- Ball sack or something. I don't know. Sure, we're, sure. Just you know, we're right. like the dangly bit right beneath Canada. Oh, right. Well, let's get into the menu <laughs> while we're talking about appetizing <laughs> things like ball sacks. Uh, first, coming up from r slash tifu from user Thanos was right ninety six. Again, nice. he was right. Nice. This is a weeb going to Japan for the first time. <laughs> I'm already uncomfortable. Okay, let's yeah. do this. <laughs> Looking for a submissive woman in Japan. I have a feeling. You where's, might be accidentally where's right. the robot cafe? Uh, I'm mm. pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> and then Looking next, for a waifu. From r slash relationship advice. Uh, this wasn't cross-posted. I had to find this one because a lot of mine were, were small joke ones. I was like, I need a, a sort of a long one. So this is... <laughs> Saw messages between my girlfriend and her friend. She's thinking about dumping me. Aww. What did you do? Sad. And then coming up from a, a, a favorite on our subreddit, I think. R slash not how girls work. Like half mm. the posts I found on our subreddit were r slash not how girls work. Okay. But uh, this was posted from, or cross posted from user Darius Voldar. Hope that's not your real name. Uh, but this is not how family photos work. Hmm. I am. In- okay. I am intrigued. Same. You will be disgusted. And then also. Coming oh, up- come on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, I forgot. We got Linz. Linz is more out of pocket Just than me. Just like dripping not- all over me. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, damn, even I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to say some shit to make John uncomfortable. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, All right. Last but not least, we have from Thanos was right. 96 again. Two this first. time from r slash just neck beard things. Oh, oh my God. Gotta hear a voice. Okay. Gotta hear the voice. I'm the real alpha. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. My ovaries just shriveled. <laughs> <laughs> that might be it for the stories. <laughs> section but i do have you know we haven't done this in a while on one of my episodes does this guy fuck this no posted on our <laughs> subreddit from clowns prayer 1010 
So oh, we got four clouds. stories and a does this guy fuck. You did that for me, didn't you? you I did. did it just for you. I mean, we need a, a you, we need a, a woman's perspective. Or okay. at least we need the perspective of somebody that would fuck a guy. You know what I mean? But That's, honestly, okay. I would fuck I, a guy, I'm, I'm John and Josh. <laughs> that was very specific of the types of two, two boys you would diddle. Yeah, I'm really into like Filipinos who wear like brown or like Canadian men with beards that like the Leafs. And host a podcast. Very specific. Mm, Those are specific yeah. kinks. <laughs> I got. Specific. I like it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyways, you do you, man. No judgment. Uh, I will do my co-host as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I bricked up? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop into this first story before it gets even more out of pocket. This is <laughs> a weeb goes to Japan. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> Today I fucked up by ordering a Shima Idon rather than an Okayodon at a Japanese restaurant. Okay. Does that give you guys any hints? Do you guys know what either of those are? A Shima Idon and Okayo Idon? Yeah, I didn't know what those were. Mm. Is it? See, I'm dumb. To me, it sounds like food, but I'm sure that's not what it is. Is it food? I think it's food because they said restaurant, but who knows? Yeah. Let's but is it like a maid cafe restaurant? And that's like the different type of maid you're ordering? I'm really setting up the weeb thing here, huh? We're going full maid cafes. I mean, is that's, it? that's where I went. Okay. Prove me it wrong. It might be. Who knows? Let's see. Liz Let's see. might be right. So I'm in Japan for a vacation with a friend. A friend who happens to speak fluent Japanese. I, on the other hand, only know Japanese from, quote, weeb sources. Oh, my God. Despite this, <laughs> despite this, I was eager to try to communicate as much as I could. So when we went to a local restaurant, my friend ordered in fluent Japanese, and I also wanted to follow suit. Okay. A for effort. I mean... Good for True. you. Yeah, so far, so so good. The guy's not so bad. Quote, Shimai, shimai don onagai shimasu. I confidently explained towards the waitress. Suddenly, the entire restaurant goes quiet. <gasps> A few neighboring tables turn their heads, and my friend looks at me as if I'm the biggest idiot in the world. And the waitress was clearly trying to hold back her laughter. <laughs> oh, no. He's like, can I get my toes sucked? Is that the news, maybe? I don't know. I like to wet my pants. Yeah. <laughs> Sit on my face. <laughs> After a solid five seconds of thinking, I finally realized I was supposed to ask for Oyakodon. For context, Oyakodon is uh, a octopus? chicken and egg oh, chicken. dish served on top of rice. Shimaidan is... Something else entirely. Shimaidan is a term used in pornography slash hentai, and it is used to describe having a threesome with both the older sister and the younger sister. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, at damn. least, at least it wasn't with the daughter and the mom. Oh yeah, I no think, incest. I think I think that would have been be a lot more disturbing. I think it would have gotten more of a reaction if what are you, you doing, that. step bro? <laughs> this Those isn't my category. This yeah. isn't Pornhub, bro. You're in Japan. <laughs> Damn. Uh, for a lot of weebs, they might think it's the same thing. Unfortunately. Oh god. I love how this is like an, uh, the more you know type of segment. Now. Yeah. <laughs> this this gives me big vibes of you know like uh, when people get tattoos in another language, and then they're oh, actually yeah. like, oh wait, it actually says fucking General So's chicken, uh, <laughs> fuck. or like left nut instead of uh, serenity. <laughs> yeah. Live laugh love. Didn't didn't Ariana Grande that think, happened to her? I think it was she like does barbecue have, or something. Yeah, I think she has bar barbecue chicken tattooed on her. <laughs> I think it happened. Didn't it happen to Britney Spears too, or something like that? Like I feel like it was some oh. other. Man. female oh, singer i don't doubt it also to. you know this isn't the show for that type of thing but have y'all seen all the britney spears con conspiracy theories those I have are not those are crazy they're are saying they? all the videos that they've released on like her tiktok and stuff are like somebody else and they've used like ai to like just put like 
Britney's like face like on it. Like a deep fake type deep thing? Fake? Oh yeah, like a deep fake. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Uh, like all her videos are with- deep fake. Cause like they like slow down the the frame and you see like a little filter change like oh, on her forehead and no. shit. Mm-mm. And people are like, oh man. And like all the videos have been like sort of weird or whatever. So yeah, I don't know. I, it's a conspiracy theory, so who knows? You know, could if be- you want to get into like a deeper rabbit hole, do the same thing, but with Avril Lavigne. Oh yeah, I've seen that one too. That one's crazy. That one is crazy. <laughs> that one's crazy. I don't know how people have time to come up with this stuff. Or you know, Me if neither. it's true. That's even crazier, but you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yep. Conspiracy theories could get to a, a dangerous place, <laughs> AKA look at how ruined Facebook is. Anyways. Mm. This is true. Are we ready to move on to the second story, y'all? Yes. I hope he still got oh. his chicken dish. I hope, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, I hope it, he got it, the chicken dish and then right after an older and younger sister. <laughs> I was like, hey. They like came from another table and they're like, hey, so we heard what you said. And we also like chicken. We like we like chicken dipped in eggs as well. So <laughs> dip your chicken in dip our your chicken in our eggs. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, God. oh no. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'll do it too. No, neither nobody should be doing it, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Josh. <laughs> Josh added all that out. Anyways, moving on Leave to the in. second story. Leave it in. That's what she said. <laughs> we can't have the two of you be together. I, I know. Coming up next from r slash relationship advice from user throw ra 83829199. This is God. saw messages Damn. between my girlfriend and her friend. She's thinking of dumping me. Oh, she's thinking oh, about no. dumping me. What did you do, my guy? Here we go. Did you try to request a threesome with <laughs> an she older and younger older sister? Threesome? <laughs> That's wild that, that there's a word specifically for that. I'm yes. not surprised. I'm, but I'm sure I'm we surprised. have some like crazy words in English that people are like, y'all have a word for Can't that. Can't be translatable, yeah. 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 I know there's like sayings in like Tagalog that, that can't be translated in English. Yeah, Nancy Just always tells crazy. me like sayings in Spanish and like I'll be like, oh yeah, what does that mean? She's like, ah, I can't. There's no Yeah, like, you can't. <laughs> can. If I tell I could tell you the direct translation, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna make any fucking sense. And I'm like, yep. okay, yeah. That's I feel you. All right. Here we go. Long story short, for the past months, I've been dating a girl way outside of my league. My girlfriend is gorgeous, popular, smart, well educated and comes from a rich family. Me, I'm average looking, I'm a college dropout, I don't make much money, and I've always wondered what she saw in me. I feel like people are always staring at us and think how could someone like me be with a woman like her. Our relationship has been great. We even talked about moving in together in the near future. But she has been cold and distant for the past few days ever since we ran into my ex on the street. His ex? His ex. Okay. Mm. OP's ex. My Mm. ex was a nice person, but not nearly as beautiful or stylish as my girlfriend. We exchanged a few words and continued walking, and my girlfriend asked me who that girl was, and I said, oh, that's my ex. She replied with, oh, okay, and then started acting weird. Today, while she was showering, I saw a message on her phone from one of her friends. Quote, Please don't dump that dude. He adores you, end quote, it said. I know her password, and I'm embarrassed to admit that I couldn't resist but to snoop. It was a long conversation, but basically my girlfriend said that she felt secondhand embarrassment when she saw my ex and couldn't be with someone who has slept with, quote, something like that, end quote. Wow. Whoa. Then... She talked about how she found my ex on Facebook, stalked her, and could not believe that I've dated such a, quote, low-life person, end quote. Oh, fuck. She sounds elitist as hell. Yeah, she sounds like a bitch. Yep. She also says that she deserves a man with better taste and that she's now realized she's way out of my league. (sighs) Douchebag. Yeah, Mm -hmm. fucking. She's an asshole. Uh, She's definitely an ass. I don't know what to do. I thought I had found my person, but it seems like she's embarrassed about me. 
I don't see how I'm in the wrong here or what I can do to keep this relationship going. Obviously, I can't turn back time. Update. Whoa, this blew up. Thank you so much for the advice and support. So here's the update. We've had a long talk, like an hour long. She basically said that she was angry in general because of how little I think of myself. That I'm a great person. Strange, because you've been fucking chopping on his ass for who knows how long in those texts. But, you know, I'll keep reading. I don't know. Uh, And that I'm a great person, but refuse to see it. She said that she's tired of seeing me waste my potential and refusing to change my awful low-paid job because I'm afraid of getting what I deserve. Hmm. She thinks that I underestimate myself and surround myself with average people because I'm like them. Basically, she told me that she wants a person with more self-esteem who isn't afraid to take what's rightfully theirs. She told me that she needed time and I could use that time apart to work on myself and how I view the world around me. I won't pressure her and I will try to listen to her advice and use this time to reflect or to reflect on myself and my life choices. I feel like I kind of hate her. I think she's a bitch. Uh, Yeah, that's not, it's, it's so easy for, okay. I'm not saying like all, rich people are like assholes right mm-hmm. but she she's speaking from like a place of privilege to me yep and it's like i'm not saying she's like a nepo baby or anything and like i'm pretty sure she, maybe she worked hard for what she has but at the same time it's like just because someone doesn't have like the aspiration to like move up in the world or be like ceos and all that mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that they're a failure, you know, maybe that's, that's the maximum of what they they want from, for themselves. And like, if there's a, if there's a way to describe this person, she sounds like one of those alpha females who needs an yeah. alpha male. And you want somebody to take care of her. That, that, that is a thing, mm-hmm. Sean. Like there's actually women like that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, yep. I want to find a guy who's going to take care of me and he needs to meet my standards. And yeah. Okay. Well, I, I thought you meant like alpha as in like the way alpha dudes think about themselves. Well, I mean, yeah, kinda, it's kind yeah. of like relative I, to the I, same I thing. I don't think there's particularly a problem if somebody was like, I want somebody to take care of me. I mean, I don't particularly agree with that, you know, but, I just, but not in a sense of like insulting someone's whole being. Yeah. yeah you, and, and she totally cheese sandwiched him where she was like, you're such a nice person, but you know, but if, if you applied yourself more, you could be a better person, you know. And I think you just need to grow to work on yourself, you know. Yeah. Which, it's like saying like you'll never be good enough for me. Yeah, because mm. she's just pointing out the things that are wrong with him that he needs to quote unquote improve about himself to be at her level to yeah, make it out like she, he's worth her time. Yeah, and she can say that because she already kind of had like a leg up already and just be like hey you come from like a well-off family whereas probably for him like he had to work his, himself to where he's currently at and she can keep saying like it's not good enough for me because like i don't know maybe she never had to face those struggles as that person maybe like he's at his point where it's like this is my peak I'm, it's not like i'm not applying myself it's like i'm happy here i'm content here and it's like you shouldn't be with someone who doesn't think you're good enough for them like that's such a stupid shit Well, and the thing that bothers me about her judging his ex is like, looks aren't everything when it comes to a relationship. Who is to say she wasn't like a completely lovely person and we don't know why they broke up. So to me, like I instantly thought, okay, well then either she's second guessing herself. Like, why would he be interested in somebody like her when he has somebody like me? What is different about her? than than me or she's like well why would he go for somebody like that when he has this you know like she's full of herself she's so full of herself and he sounds like a lovely person who just has self-esteem issues and we've all had self-esteem issues at one point or another in our lives or we still have self-esteem issues hello imposter syndrome but you know just because he didn't finish college doesn't mean he doesn't have aspirations and goals for himself. Right. Mm-hmm. And all of us have had slumps. I mean, I have had career slumps. I've worked a bunch of shitty jobs that I did not want to work in, but you do what you need to do to 
get to the next place. And does that make me a person that's not worth being with? No. You know, it's it just seems like she was looking for an excuse to get out. I was like, there's this like thing that when I used to like more be more involved in the gym, there's this something that this um, one of my buddies has taught me. Like just because like someone is pushing like 350 pounds and you're only pushing like 180 pounds, that person that's pushing 350 doesn't mean that they're better than you. But if you're like exerting like that 180 pound weight, like to your maximum effort, it's still the same effort. Like just because it's heavier doesn't mean it's like you're working less, you know? And she's kind of equating it. It's like, cause I have this, I have this title. Like my lifestyle is this, like mm-hmm. you ain't shit because like you can't get up to my level, Yep. which is fucking elitist as hell. Yeah. I have a lot of feelings. Cause it's like, surprisingly, I don't have like a ton of problems with the talk that they had afterwards. Mm-hmm. Like if I had known, like if I didn't know that whole first half of her being like such a judgmental asshole and like definitely elitist, I feel like the second half, you know, it's not bad to talk to your spouse and be like, Hey, like, I think you could, you know, you know, work harder or like, you know, maybe you need to spend time on yourself. Cause sometimes that happens. There's sometimes, you know, I don't know how long term this relationship is, but I, I definitely know and have seen couples that could have used a talk like this, uh, where they're just like, Hey, look, we're growing up. You're kind of not growing up. We need to decide like what's happening here or, you know, cause otherwise, I want to be here. If you're happy here, then we should probably end it type of deal. I think that's okay. But yeah, I think, sure. uh, I, would agree I, think with that. I think all of that, it gets clouded because she's talking to you one way, but then it seems so fake. Her true because, feelings, right. Yeah, it seems so fake because she was talking all that mad shit prior in the text messages. Yeah. So when she's yeah. talking about like, oh man, you're really underestimating yourself. It's like not even you know, 30 minutes ago or whenever y'all had this talk, you were fucking saying I'm a piece of shit and you're way out of my league. It's like, yep. which one is it? The thing that kills me is that like her friends are like, this guy loves you. Loves you, right. Yeah. Like, don't dump him for, like, for something so shallow. This is someone who actually ca- genuinely cares for you. And that's the thing that kind of k- kills me is that everybody else can see, see how it. much he loves her. And she's just like re- decided by some weird superficial measurement that she's come up with that he's not worth her time anymore. And that's just really mm-hmm. sad because, I mean, I've had bouts of stuff where I've, I've felt really, really bad about myself. And I've had conversations with my husband about it where he's like, you know, you should care about yourself a little bit more. Like you're not don't talk about yourself that way and blah, blah, blah. And it's it's healthy to have those kind of conversations like and sometimes it is necessary to have those conversations to realize that other people don't see you the way that you see yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But to superficially try to dump somebody and like try to disguise it as, oh, you need time to better yourself. You yeah. know, like that's fuck off. That's yeah. rude. It's, it's crazy you say that, Lens. I have that conversation nearly every day with my wife. I'm just like, you are like so much better than I am. <laughs> Like in terms of like every accomplishment you ever did, I'm like, fuck, I'm hella slacking. But every single day she reassures me. It's like, hey, you're where you're supposed to be at. Mm -hmm. Like you're doing everything. I see you working. I see you trying. And like you're exerting yourself to like the maximum that you can exert yourself. Like that's all I care about. It's effort. It seems like this guy does what he can do. And like granted, yes, he might be. If Josh was here, I know he'd press that purple button. It's like, yes, he might need some therapy to get, you know, some reassurance that, hey, maybe you need to have a better self worth. But what, like what Sean was saying, with all the background and all the shenanigans happening in the back, and everyone is telling you that, hey, this person is good for you, and you mm-hmm. still try to be a shallow fucker, then, then like, you know, it, I can't. Then help you're but the problem. You a, then Not you're the problem. Exactly. Yes. Agreed. All right, before we hit our third story, I think it's time we learn about how quick and easy meals from HelloFresh are, guys. Uh-oh. Let's jump into it. Let's go. Hello. Fresh. Fresh. <laughs> What's up, Wikimaniacs? You know how your boys love to talk about food, even if it involves Josh talking about taco sauce. Hey, come on, man. Not the time. All right, boys. Be nice. 
But let me talk to you about HelloFresh. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime this spring by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy-to-prepare recipes right to your door. Skip the checkout lines and get outside in the warmer weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered. Speaking of tacos and sauce, spend less time in the kitchen with the quick and easy meals like HelloFresh's Fast and Fresh Pineapple Chicken Tacos or Falafel Power Bowls, ready in 15 minutes or less. And while I'm a professional at eating meals, I am a rookie when it comes to cooking. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps, so even I can follow it. I have a few set favorites, but by far my favorite is the miso honey glazed salmon. Ooh, delicious. The box was shipped to my door, got it out of the box, read the instructions, got to cooking, and a few minutes later, I'm rubbing my belly and doing my happy dance from all the deliciousness. Ooh, so Wikimaniacs, make sure to go to HelloFresh.com slash Reddit on Wiki 50 and use the code Reddit on Wiki 50 for 50 percent off plus your first box ships free once again go to hellofresh.com slash reddit on wiki 50 and use code reddit on wiki 50 for 50 percent off plus your first box ships free hello fresh america's number one meal kit and uh, we are back how was that ad that john wrote john writes the ads guys you yes. do uh, see i do that's something you're doing great you're doing I a do good so job, many, sweetie. I, Thank I do, you. I do so much funny stuff that Josh cuts out. It's so rude, guys. You guys don't even I know. know. I try to like, give more <laughs> character to our boy here because he's the most beloved. No. Our fucking white. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> the white we love you, Josh. it up again. We guys, miss you, Josh. We miss Hope you, Josh. Hope you're feeling better, my guy. Also, the only thing that got cut was a wrestling joke that 99% yeah. of you guys don't care about except for our one youtuber that talked about forbidden door that's true i I really wish i had like screenshots and like a map of everybody's names that have mentioned stuff i should be more organized but you know me i don't even write scripts let's get real get to my level sean i mean yeah yeah i need to be like lynn's level organized uh before we get into this third story uh trigger warning one for potential stalking uh it's hypothetical but it seems detailed uh and two for sexual offending i don't know if those are inappropriate sexual behavior i would say that yeah that's that's a better one inappropriate sexual behavior the story gets gross and dark but it's a short one so if you want to skip over it feel free all right are we ready for our third story of the night let's do it this is from r slash not how girls work this is not how family photos work I am so intrigued. Be prepared to be angry disgusted and disgusted. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, I'll, is it I'll, like I'll get some my like fist my face ready. Creepy dad <laughs> wanting like sit on my lap. Mm. Oh no. I don't know. Laundry pixel. I, I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Here we go. So this is looks like from Facebook, which is oh, big great. surprise. Great. Um I don't <laughs> Off know what to the a context great start. is. <laughs> I don't know what the context is, but it is, looks like it's a comment written to something. Ooh, I wish Lord. I had seen the whole thing because it starts off to clarify, which means he must have said some, he must have, he must have said oh, some no. shit. <laughs> he must have said some that, shit. That. Oh man. I wish I saw the whole thing, but it, it starts off immediately bad. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. ready. Hit me. To clarify. No. I'm not jerking it to kids. Oh, God. Oh, it's, Jesus. It's the opposite. For example, what? let's say I'm at the hospital and I get some really hot nurse. I look at her name tag and make a mental note of her name. I go home. I look up this nurse on Facebook to pleasure myself, of course. However, Ooh. all her pics are either just of her kids or they are just of her alone and her kids. But never any pics of just her alone. Why is this? Is it because she knows guys whack to her? So she makes them uncomfortable by putting her kids in the pictures? It's the only explanation I can think of. So if that is the case, she is literally using her kids as human shields. Oh my God. This is a crime, I think. This man needs to be fucking arrested. Registered. Registered. He needs, he needs to be on a list. He needs to be on a list. A list, restraining order. 
This man can't comprehend Everything. that people just maybe want to take fucking photos with their Fam- kids. Just you know what I mean? Pictures. What? This is why I lock all my social media down and I never share pictures of my children for people like this who pull this yes. kind of bullshit and are just like, I'm going to, I'm going to look you up on Facebook. I'm going to memorize Dude. your name from brief interaction we had at a hospital. I'm going to look you up and then I'm going to jerk off to pictures of you with your kids. What the fuck? Yes. This guy is maybe one of the worst things I've ever read. I think on this show, it's just like (sighs) the whole, like Lynn said, the fucking meticulous cycle. Like he he has done this before. That's to multiple. Yeah. Like, for that was sure, a, he's done this. It's that too was detailed. a very specific example for that to be like, oh, you know, what if? Uh, what if yeah, I did it's this? It's not thing. a hypothetical. This is a You've thing you it. did. Yes, I think I want to throw up. Yes, dude. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, that was um, that was one of the highest voted ones on our subreddit because everybody was fucking like, this dude is insane. I'm uncomfortable. I am so uncomfortable. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, I have no words, but dude, this reminds me of like <laughs> turn yourself in. Yes, I, please. I really want to know what the first comment was that he had oh, to it clarify. Must it must have been out of pocket. If this is the clarification, yes. how bad was that first comment? And this clarification was probably the worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah. So Imagine whatever was original. above that was it's fucking worse. Oh my god. Jeebus. I'm so I feel, uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel itchy. Yeah, that's the worst. Uh, oh, we do wow. end on a high note. Not hey. the next one, but the next one after that is a okay, high note. Okay, okay. I'm about to say. I was, I was uh, like, what? What kind of strain? What kind of strain we smoking on the last one? <laughs> and then no. I got high. And then I got high. And then I got, got high. high. Yeah, I do really hope whoever ba, 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 ba. that Facebook account was got fucking... I don't banned. know. Yeah, I hope they got banned. Somebody no. like you know put a tip in or something to get that guy. Yeah, checked I out. hope. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm like super opposed to doxing people, but please reveal his address. <laughs> yeah, fucking send his ass to jail. No shit. I'm opposed to doxing for sure, but like when it's a potential harm. Yeah, then then it might be worth to dox. Like, dude, this is know. this is the thing. If you're comfortable disclosing that type of information yes. in public. What kind of sick shit are you doing privately? Yes. I mean, yeah. obviously doing some bad stuff to pictures bad with stuff. kids. Right. And like, okay, you know, terrible no matter what. But yeah. like there's technology. You could crop the kids out. It's still an awful thing to do. But at least like at the very, you know, I don't know. You could, you just, you you could photo, zoom or in you could just, or you could just or you go could on Pornhub. Yeah, like, or you can just fucking corner, Google look porn. Look hot nurses. Pay people that shit. want that's a category you to do that. You can go to if that's your thing. Like allegedly, yeah, not that I would not, just not like, that I would know, but you know, it's, it's, I hear it's things. Like wrong thing <laughs> after wrong God, thing God, after God. wrong <laughs> thing. It's like not one good choice was made in this whole story. It's insane. It, it was it like was digging the hole deeper. And deeper and deeper to the point where you just kind of wanted to take all that dirt and just shove it over the top of him and be like, and and we're done. And, and bury and, him alive. And, and there you are. Bye. That's because that was, that was like, enough. okay, like each. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Just repeating myself, but like each step got progressively worse. And I'm just like, bro, you got to think at some point in typing this, you'd be like. Yo, I'm fucking sick in the head, right? Yeah. yeah I. This sounds yeah. crazy. I should not hit like, send. I, like, I have a problem. I feel <laughs> yeah. like people should, like, read what they're writing out loud before they post stuff like this and be like, does this I mean, make me sound like a sexual predator? Yes, it I does. I mean, shit like this, yes, but, like, all the other stuff on Reddit that are stupid, please keep doing it because we need Yeah, it. this <laughs> is totally different. This is... This is totally different. This is, like, beyond another category. Yeah. Yeah. This is, like... <sighs> The hills have eyes type of shit. I'm but. so uncomfortable. Sean, make us happier, please. Okay, okay. Take well, us to a better place. This one I think you'll laugh at. Okay. Here please. we go. Hopefully. This is from R slash just neckbeard things. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, that is gonna make me thank happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanos was right, 96. <laughs> Again. This is Thanos, snap that previous person, please. Uh, I'm the real alpha. 
Oh God. <sighs> All right. I'm so ready. Would you guys, this is a conversation. So would you guys like to read it? Ah, I gotta be Lynn. Oh, and please, you, please, Sean. please. Lynn's and me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll be the, the neck beard, neck beard and you could be the normal person. Lynn. Okay. This is going to be great. This is gonna be great. Hey man, can I talk to you about your girlfriend? <laughs> I guess so. What about her? I've been talking with her a lot, and we've grown pretty close. I know you're her boyfriend and all, but I'm going to ask politely if you could break up with her. (laughs) I just just really feel a connection to her, and she would be happy with me. That's funny because she told me you were creepy and constantly text her even when she doesn't reply. You need to stop talking to my girlfriend and get the fuck out of my DMs. Oh, Oh, God. Here we go. Laugh out loud. Uh, You know she's just using that as an excuse because she'd rather tell you that then tell you the truth, which is that she met a nice, charming <laughs> alpha male. <laughs> you betas are all the same. <laughs> Actually, what the fuck? Did you make her block me? <laughs> <sighs> to be honest, I should uh, I should thank you. I didn't even want that ugly whore anyway. But have fun with her, though, Beta. <laughs> You're insane. End scene. Awful oh, to read, but just God, what a delusional. Mad, mad props all around. <sighs> yes. I think we nailed that. I think we did. Y'all nailed nailed it perfectly. I was fucking dying just hearing that shit. <laughs> Dude, how delusional. The audacity. The, a nice, who? charming alpha. Alpha male. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who made alpha such a thing? I feel like I had not heard of that like until like the last few years. I, the last time I heard alpha and beta was like Teen Wolf when I used to watch that MTV show Teen Wolf. Mm. Yeah. Shout out to, to other people that watch that terrible show with me. Yeah. And the thing, the thing that is so funny to me, this whole like alpha, beta, and then like the girls are like omegas or whatever type of thing. Like, Did they really call them that? I it, call yeah. Them omegas. Yeah. Omegas are supposed to be like subservient to the alphas. Like they're supposed to please their alpha. Oh, wow. My favorite oh. wrestler is Kenny Omega. He's Kenny mm. subservient. Yeah. True. Kenny takes it like a pro. I don't know. I guess. I guess. I don't know. I don't know much about wrestling. But uh, it's supposed to be based off of, like, wolf behavior. And that's not even how wolves, re- like, act. Like, that's not even a thing. So the fact that it is, continues to be a thing to me is hilarious. That it's like, I'm an alpha. I'm, I'm the alpha male. You betas. What the fuck? That is crazy. Did Sean freeze? Did we lose Sean? Hello? There okay. you are. We lost Did, you for a little bit. Y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Well, I don't know when we got lost. What was the last you, thing you heard me say? Um, I think I, maybe I lost y'all for a while because I was just talking. Oh. Oh, you were. And I was like, what wow, I saying? guess nothing I'm saying is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the last thing you were saying? Uh, what was the last thing I said? I don't even remember. I, got I guess lost I'm not that own, funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got lost in my own self-consciousness. Uh <laughs> My girlfriend doesn't break up with me because she's so much prettier than I am. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. What was the last thing I said? I think I was talking about Teen Wolf. Yes. No, we heard you talk about about Teen Wolf. Wolf, And then you you cut out. Kenny Omega. Yeah, Kenny Omega is where I cut out, I think. Yeah. Okay. And then I made a reference and I was like, because you said he's subservient. And I said, oh, so it's. You must take it. You must take it. And then I just, and then you didn't say anything. So I was like, but I don't know. I don't know wrestling. And then I felt really <laughs> awkward. 
I was Did like, I offend Sean rrr, by rrr, making rrr, fun of his favorite wrestler? Rest- <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I don't know what I just did. If it was bad, I'm sorry. Kenny Omega, uh, if, if you're a fan of Kenny Omega, you know that man is definitely taking it. He's taking it hard. His lover is a jacked, swole man. Ooh. I don't know if that's kayfabe That's the true alpha. But yeah, Kota Ibushi. Uh, deep I had cut some for anybody else. All right. Are we ready for the last story? Let's do it. End it on a high note, Sean. Okay. Oh, well, that was technically the last story. This is a listener submitted. Does this <gasps> guy oh. fuck? Oh. Dirt. Okay. So I will say this, at least for me, this is a mm. first because this is not a singular guy. <gasps> it's oh, this is a group of guys. Do these guys fuck? Uh, Jazz hands. Uh oh. Okay. Here we go. Again, this is from cross posted from our uh, Wikimaniac Clowns Prayer 1010. That makes me nervous when clowns pray. <laughs> yeah, anything with clowns and praying makes me don't uncomfortable. Love, don't yes. love clowns. <laughs> That's me in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I think clowns might have been maybe one or two of my most, uh, my phobias as a child. Mm. I think I'm clowns, terrified of them, yeah. Spiders. And rice. Oh. <laughs> and rice. I wasn't scared of rice. I just didn't want to eat those little roach eggs. <laughs> okay. That's that's valid though. Clowns and spiders are kind of scary. Clowns, mm-hmm. spiders, and then heights. I didn't like heights. I'm not a roller coaster. Yeah. Fan. I'd hold your hand, Sean, if we ever go to a theme park together. Dude, I I'll hold know, your hand I'll, too. I'm down, guys. But I will say you I can, only, you can be in the middle and sh- and John and I will just hold your hands. We'll hold you. We got you, Mama my and sweet Papa. baby Sean. <laughs> Pay eleven, my just. sweet baby. <laughs> I will say Mama, this though: Papa. the Disney Disney rides, I'm all about. Those roller oh, coasters yeah. are are That's indoors. Chill. I have no idea how high I am. You know, so mm. all right. But so here you're we saying go. I should never take you to Valley Fair if you come up to Minnesota? I've never heard of that, but I'm scared. I'll tell uh, you look that. it up after look it up after this. I think Midscore might get a kick out of this, but like Cedar, I think it's called Cedar Ridge in Columbus. There was a scary ass roller coaster that I rode. It was like 4.7 seconds. It'll reach like 120 miles per hour. And it was like a 10 second ride. It was beautiful. It was a thrill. I so, loved it. So in Houston, we had Astro World, which was like half Astro World, half uh Water World, which is like, you know, they had water mm. park. Right next yeah. to the amusement park or whatever. <laughs> it was huge. All my friends would was go fucking. There? <laughs> there was a Batman ride, actually. Oh. Nice. But uh but all my friends would go in Astroworld, ride all the roller coasters, and I would just hop on over to Waterworld and Lazy River for like six hours because <laughs> that's River. all I could do. That's the only thing that that's didn't fair. involve heights. Hey, that's okay, man. It's fair. It's a fair point though. Yeah. It's okay. Are we ready to judge these guys? Yes. Yes. It's a short one. Do it. So here we go. A woman in my office is going through a breakup and all the work guys are chatting. They're trying to think of something nice that they could all do for her. And one of the guys very sincerely says, women like mac and cheese, right? Maybe we can, (laughs) maybe we can do something with that. I love Dude, that guy. these guys fuck. I gotta say yes. I gotta say yes, <laughs> yes. for the yes. first time ever on this show. <laughs> these guys he knows, be love it. He knows that's a comfort food, man. Yeah. Girls love mac and cheese. That guy fucks. Give him mac and cheese, then there's that mac and fucks. cheese sounds later on. <laughs> Mom, that's the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it ain't no. go down easy unless it's cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, you you know missed it. Macaroni in a pot. You macaroni get that. in the wow. pot. <laughs> but yeah, for the How first time ever. Make the sound effect. <laughs> <This one? laughs> oh my God. I was just clapping. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, might as well clap those cheeks. My no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for, you know, oh. this section. Uh, but 
the episode's not over. We still have This Day in History written by the amazing Underbagi. So stay tuned because that's coming right now. What's up, Wikimaniacs? Welcome back to our weekly series called This Day in History. For those tuning into Reddit on Wiki for the first time, ah, thank you for streaming our show. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this show on your favorite podcast platform or over on YouTube. If you don't know, Sean may cry. Oh no. The segment is a little history lesson that we like to throw in each week to take a break from the online assholes we poke fun at. Every Monday, we'll take you on a trip down memory lane and hopefully you can walk away feeling like you've learned something. Today, we're going to France in 1993 to discuss a high stress, true crime related event. Here we go. According to Alex, I might cry. Oh no. The story begins in West Paris, France, in a place called Neuilly sur Seine, also known as Neuilly. Apologies, guys. 30 year old teacher Lawrence Dreyfus was teaching her first grade class on what seemed to be an average day in May in 1993. She was new to teaching and was also a new mother. No one could prepare her or anyone for that matter, of the terror that was going to enter her classroom. Accounts claim that a 42-year-old Algerian-born Frenchman named Eric Schmidt was going to enter her classroom with sticks of dynamite strapped to his waist. Jesus. The dynamite, according to an LA Times article, was wired to a detonator in Schmidt's hand. Lawrence handled this tense moment with delicate ease. She reportedly informed the 20 children, ages 3 to 4, that the stranger in their classroom was there to repair the school heating system. With a described calm demeanor, she encouraged the children to play games and do art projects while they wait for officials to come remove Eric from their room. Eric, who described himself in papers discovered at the scene as the human bomb, was once a manager at a computer company that later went bankrupt. After demanding a telephone, television, and radio to monitor news coverage of the event, Eric reportedly released 14 of the children, but refused to release any more of the hostages. Eric reportedly demanded $18.5 million, which was eventually given. However, however, Eric increasingly began showing signs of suicidal ideations, which made officials and loved ones concerned. In a direct quote from an LA Times article, Quote, the stocky hostage taker has repeatedly said he has no interest in harming the children, although he told officials he would rather die than be taken alive. Communicating with them by fax, he has threatened to use the children as shields to make his escape. Police said that he had provided them with an elaborate list of instructions for his escape, complete with diagrams. He has been going without sleep and he has been drinking coffee to stay awake. End quote. After being held hostage for a whopping 46 hours, Jesus Christ, by Eric, he was eventually shot down by elite French police who entered the classroom after given the green light to do so. Eric was killed and the children released. That's it for this day's history segment, just a small coverage of the scary event from France. Let us know your thoughts on today's episode over on our social media accounts or over on the Cultivate Discord. Also, thank you again for tuning in to today's This Day in History segment and learning more about today's feature with us. It wouldn't have been made possible without the following resources, the LA Times, and the most important resource of them all, the amazing Underbaki, Alex Underbaki, the host of the Weird Distractions podcast. Thank you so much for yet another banger. And uh, with that being said, I think it's time that we get back with the other guys. See you soon. Uh, thank you, Alex. Thank Ooh, you for that. Chad Gable reference. I like it. You got to love it. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you again for another banger in this day in history. Um, and I always thank you all the patrons. But before we end the episode completely, we do have to do a little bit of house cleaning. So, yes. John. Do you got something lined up for us? 
I do. Got a couple reviews that I want to read out. Um, so the first one is a five star review from Ananas, written on our website. Title is Unusually Funny Men Who Are Also Normal. <laughs> uh. Anything, anything but Ananas. Huh. Excellent exposure to one, straight culture for me as a person who has like one and a half straight friends in real life, and two, those funky American accents as a fellow <laughs> Ottawa dweller. <laughs> Our shit ain't funky, Ananas. What the fuck uh, did you just say? <laughs> what kind of accent? What the oh, shit ain't funky? was that? <laughs> I'm from Texas. Hell no, I'm not in a Texan accent. I got talk like this, bananas. We ain't funky Americans. Anyways, uh, these guys are funny and also not shitty. Sure, the bar is low. True. This is true. But many podcast guys will nonetheless pull out a shovel and dig a two meter deep hole just to maneuver under it. I kind of want to study you guys under a microscope to figure out how you do it and then publish the results. Thank you for this spectacular content. Again, this is from Ananas. I don't think you guys would fit under a microscope. I'm just going to say. You'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, there's definitely a body part of mine that would fit underneath. That is microscopic. Micro, some would say. Micro, yep. some would say. I have one as well. Uh, a YouTube comment. Oh. Um, this is from Alyssa. They just wanted a, you know, a little late now on my part. My bad, Alyssa. But uh, we have the same birthday. So she was saying, you know. Oh. Happy birthday to me, and I'd like to say it back. Also, I'd like to give a shout-out to all the uh, Discord people that yes. uh, wish me a happy birthday, too. Uh, John started it off. Thank you so much, John. But, yeah, all the, all the Wikimaniacs sharing the birthday love. I, I really appreciated that. But uh, one more comment that made me laugh uh, from YouTube. Is it about you? No, it's about all of us. Oh, no. okay. Because usually you just look for Sean. I do just look for me. I mean, how do you think I found this one? <laughs> <laughs> here we go this is from christine on one of our i think my last episode the my boyfriend is dragging me episode but Ooh, they write yes. first off sean is starting to get predictions wrong now john is making Ooh. puns pretty soon josh will pick a winning hockey team <gasps> ouch boom you roasted why am i so sad uh i do ouch. hope as, as much as that made me laugh, Christine, I do hope the Leafs continue to win and Josh can shove this in your face. Uh, but if they do lose, Josh <laughs> will be devastated and he will forever hold this against you. And he probably won't come back for a while. <laughs> he will be sad. He will be sad. He will be very sad. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. But it's okay. Uh, I can talk to puns? him. I'm used to sports teams sucking complete ass. Yeah. Hmm. My puns will always be bad, Christine. So <laughs> it's kind of his thing. <laughs> it's kind it's of his thing. thing. It's true. It's the best thing he brings to the table. The true. punny Pinoy. That's what I call myself. It's AAPI month. You can't talk shit about me, Christine. <laughs> or I'll call you racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's shown to be a highly effective technique on the show. It's call, sure just like threaten people like, I'm going to call you racist. You don't fucking agree with me. They changed the review. Oh, shit. Actually, this is five stars. I do really enjoy the show. Uh, actually, I love all of these guys. Especially the two brown especially, ones. Josh can yeah, fucking kick rocks. I now hate, I hate Josh, and I just love the brown ones. They're my yes. favorite. And then we come back and say, but are you really not racist? Because you called us the brown ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we love y'all. We just fuck with you guys. Oh, of course. Again, I always say this, but, you know, we really honestly would not be anything without um, the listeners. So thank you guys so much. Like, you guys basically pick the stories on our show. Like, 99% of our stories are cross-posted on the subreddit that you guys, you know, use and had suggested so thank you guys for doing you. Before we end it completely, I know I keep postponing, but Linz. Yes. You've been on here five or six times. People know the deal, but if they have never heard one of your episodes before, tell them where they can find more of you. And please promote your upcoming live stream. <gasps> this episode comes out May 15th. Ooh, yes. 
Uh, so Yield Crime, you can find it anywhere that you are listening to Reddit on Wiki. On our show, my sister and I discuss funny, strange, and lesser known true crime cases from history, uh, everything pre-1900. And we are going to be doing our first live show for <gasps> episode 150. And it's going to be on Instagram on Sunday, May 21st at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you would like to learn a little bit about us and give us a give a taste, take a taste. I don't know. Words are hard. Uh, <laughs> check out. Taste them. Taste, taste our rainbow, I guess. Uh, <laughs> check us out on Instagram Live. I made it worse. It's fine. Oh, it tastes like mac and cheese, guys. It tastes like <laughs> mac and cheese and uh, tater tot hot dish because Minnesota. So Minnesota tater tot Minnesota. hot dish. That sounds awesome. It's basic. It's so good. Have you ever had tater tot casserole? Ooh, it sounds like I'm gonna be stuck in a bathroom and butt ass. It is. It you take ground beef and you mix in green beans cream of mushroom, and then you top it with like a thin layer of shredded cheese and then tater oh. tots. Oh. Oh. Talk to me dirty. That's like green bean casserole, but just take it up like 5,000 You take it up a notch yeah. by adding tater tots. Oh, I'm into it. I love that. You're right, welcome. Well, that's it for this <laughs> episode. We'll see you guys on Wednesday if you're rich, rich. Friday if you're normal like me. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you're just like us. If you're, if you're like us. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Ooh, that was wet. And of course, we can't say thank you enough to the following people who makes this show possible by your monetary support. Patrons, we love to thank you. And as usual, chaotic order. You know how I do it. We're going backwards this time around. So let's start with Asgier, Zoe, Santalo, your girl Diana, Jessica, William Metaphor, Witty Kitty, Will, Wicked Pippin, Warren, Vicky, Valentina, Unicorn Candy, Tucka, Tree the Busy Bee, Tracy, Toxic Cupcake, Torek, Tiffany, Tiffany, Tierra, The Stevie. Hi, The Stevie. Tartan, Tegan, Taylor, 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 Taru, Tara, 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 Tanisha, Tammy, Tabitha, Syria, Susie Q, Sunny Licious Supreme, Sunny Gemini, Stevie, Stephanie, 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 Stan Lee. Got that right this time around. Stacy, Sophie, Sophia, Sky, Silja, Sierra, Sierra, Siddhartha, Shirtless, Josh, Diane, Shell, Sheila, Sheena, Shannon, Savannah, Saskia, Sasha, Sarah, Lynn, Sarah's echo, echo, echo. Sarah, 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 Sammy, Sam, Sam, Sabrina, Sabrina, Riker, Roxy, Ruzarion, Robert, Ringo, Rich Cat Lady. We love a rich cat lady. Rich person. I like the riches. Rhonda, Rihanna, Renee, Risa, Rebecca, Reina, Rachel, Rachel, Queenie's Dan, Purple DC Bones. Soy Goat. I try to make it better every time for you. Pikaya, Phoebe, Philip, Phantom Fox 98, Peyton, Paula, Patty, Pete, Killer, Olivia, Olga, Elena, Norma, Noah, Noah, Nick, Nicole, Nicola, Naya, Net, Nelly, Neen, Nathemi, Naomi, Nikita, Miss Doolittle, Mrs. Christine E2, Morgan Moody, Mid Drake, Mitzi Jane, Mina, Mickey, Michelle, 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 Michael, Micah, Micah, Marissa, Melissa, 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 Meg Mystery, Mazapan, Marianne, Mary Lock, Mary Johnson, Marissa, Marine, Mary Elena, Maria, Maria, Mama Deb, Mackenzie, M. Straight up M. That's cool. Lindsay, Lydia, Lunar, Lucy, Lucia, Luca, Luana, Losalini, Lorani, Lofty Andy, Loba, Lizzie, Little 5128, Little Rosie, Lisa, Linnea, Ling, Lindsay, Lily, Lily, Lillian, Lily, Likachu, Lexi, Lily, Letty, Leslie, Lena, Leanne, Leanne, Lauren, Lauren, Lani, Quarka, Christy, Christy, Kristen, Krissa, Kitty, Kite, Kindle, Kim and Kev, Kenzie, Kelsey, Kellyanne, Kibra, 
Kayla, KC, Kawina, Katie, Katie, Catherine, Catherine, Caitlin, Kate, Cass, Cassidy, Casey, Karina, Karen, 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 Kelly, Kakernizny. You never corrected us. Let us know. Just Aaron, John Sue, Julie, Julia, Juice Machine. Jory, Jordan, Jordan, Jojo, Jillian, Jessica, Jesse, Jenny, Jenna, Jen, Jen, Javier, Jasmine, Janelle, Jamie, Jacqueline, Jackie, Jackie, Jay, Rich, Yulia, Itzel, Isabel, Issa, Thunder, Poop, Iona, Indira, I am your mother, Hyphen, Hope, Holly, Heather, Hannah, Hannah, Haley, Graceful, Duck, Girls, Cupcake, Gem, Gray, Galaxy, Gabby, Gabby, Free Gnomes, Flossie, Flare Prime, Finch Fry, Feed Ducks, Father Mason, Fairly, Evelyn, Ida, Etta, Ezra, Christina from Miss Spooky Tales, Emma the Asshole, probably with that name, Emma, Emily, Emily, Elizabeth, 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 Eliana, Eli, Ellie, sorry, Ekaterina, Edna, Drella, Dr. Dunin, Dominique, Disney Can't Stop Me, Diana, Daya, Destiny, D. Dawn, Danielle, Dan, Daisy, Keller Rouge, Crystal, Courtney, Classy MacGyver, Sierra, Sierra, Christine, Christina, Kristen the Great, Cheryl, Cherise, Chelsea, 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 Charlie, Selena, Cecily, Casey, Carter, Caroline, Carolina, Carol, Carissa, Caitlin, Caitlin, Brittany, Brittany, Brie, 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 Blue Raina, Blue, Bad, Panda, 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 Bex, Bertrand, Be So Happy, Becky, Bear, Bailey, Ayana, Audrey, Ashley, 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 Artina, Arnulfo, April, Appleine, Anthony, Annie, 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 Anne, Anna, Annette, Ad, Annette, Andrea, last page, Anastasia, Amy, Amber, 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 Amanda, Alyssa, Alyssa, Allie, Allie, Alexandra, Alyssa, Allison, Alina, Alicia, Alexis, Alexis, Alexa, Alex, 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 Akisura Hater, Akisura Hater, <laughs> I can't read, aka The Run, Aisha, Agatha, Addy, Aber, Aaron, Sky Score, and Mid Score. Y'all so awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the show. We love you. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Do it. Just do it. Expert in fucking power. Great power. For the fifth time, it's your boy Sean. <laughs>